All right, this is BJ from the 478, and we're at Sound Source in Macon, Georgia, and I got an update on this C10 I've been working on. Let's check it out. I got a shallow mount, eight inch mid-range woofer, and a three inch um, super tweeter. It's got that suede backing on it. And I had to bring this out some for the simple fact that the motor sits, these electric windows, the motor sits adjacent to um, this speaker. So I wasn't able to to use my first uh, initial door panel I made. Uh, I had to, I would have cut in a hole in the, in the door and made it kind of uh, a little narrow and slender to the door. Well, that didn't work out. Reason in being, let me show you. I had to bring it out. Um, two of these it makes an inch and a half, so um, you know, almost two two and a quarter inches uh, deep, <clears throat> and that will allow me to bolt my speaker up in here, likewise, and not have to cut the doors. So if he wants to go back factory, he's gonna have some big hole in his door, but which actually played a, a um, good part in this in his bill. I'm not butchering up his car, so I like it. But this is also the console. I got a Pioneer Double Den in there, dual cup holders, uh, two six and a halves, uh, made by PRV. They got a great mid-range base. Um, and also the Super Tweeter uh, made by Audio Pipe. <clears throat> I'll run dual twelves back here some probably uh, probably like some american base some es uh shallow mount tens should give them a pretty good low end on it um and i'll run all the amplifiers i'll make the amp rack where they sit underneath the seat and just bolt the seat back in right, let's take another look at this console the reason why i took the seat out is for the simple fact that you know you can actually get a little bit better idea of how, how I wanted it fit and all that good stuff. So in doing that, once I put the seat back in, I can bolt everything up. I will run some uh, LEDs underneath this piece right here. It does go up just a tad more, bit um, more so I can get that LED strip up in here. So it illuminates um, down. And I'll probably run something in the backside. I'll make the grills tomorrow. And I'm gonna wire it up, man. I'm gonna get this truck on out of here. I know my customer's about ready to ride. And I'm about ready to get it out of here. So I got a lot more stuff to do. But like I said, my name is BJ. We're at Sound Source in Macon, Georgia. Anything you need from me, you can contact me at 478-262-9307. All my subscribers get 10% off. And, oh, one other thing too, check this motor out. Yeah, sound like a boss to me. Now, um, when I do finish it up, I will give you uh, the final view of this truck and we'll go from there. But like I said, all subscribers get 10% off. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, share it. And hey, look, come see me. Thank you.